Today we have made it down to South Carolina and we are at Schumacher Homes Greenville location. We are currently standing inside of the Charleston 2 and this is the American Tradition version. Now the Charleston 2 is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,833 square foot single story home. The outside, they did it up in this beautiful blue with your shake shingle siding and also incorporated some traditional vinyl siding. I love the actual stonework archway as you come and enter into the main house and then the stone foundation as well. Now the elevation of this house does allow for the basement in the back to be exposed, giving you this beautiful overhang from your porch above. But without further ado, I know you guys are ready to get into the home. So let's do it. All right. I was tickled when I walked in here and saw that I was thinking that the floor plan was gonna be pretty much the same, but gosh, so happy that it's not. I love how it's designed. So when you first come in, you're greeted with this gorgeous foyer, beautiful windows. And then right as you walk in off to the left, your left as you enter, you know what I mean? <laughs> you have this flex room, which is set up as a beautiful office right now. Gorgeous built-ins. Really love the countertops. When it comes to the cabinets, beautiful wood cabinets in there. And then the doors are soft closed as well. Massive windows. Really, really pretty. I love the floors in here too. Very like natural looking. Not too dark, not too bright. Perfect. Across the hall, you do have your half bath with your vanity, the undermount sink. Your light, funky light, and your toilet. Now, most of this, this part right here that I just shown you is pretty much the same as the other Charleston's. This is your coat closet. Now this one has access down to the basement. It's actually set up as another section of their office with their design studio and everyone. I did wanna turn you right here, turn you back and explain this. The flex room right here, we've seen it where it's really, like the doorway is a lot wider. So that's a little different in the fact that it makes it more of its own unique room. All right, so beautiful living room. I love the wall right here. And the massive windows going out onto your back porch. Super excited to go back out there and check it out. You have all of your can lights. And then if you've noticed, when you do come back over into this corner in the normal Charleston, you would have an entryway into your media room before that opens up into your master bedroom. That's not there. You have this huge wall, gorgeous. Your dining room table. Again, just look at the amount of cabinet space that you have right here and then your tile backsplash as well. It goes all the way up to the ceiling and then it even carries in over there. And then this little accent piece right here in the ceiling up above your dining room table. Gosh, <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, let's keep going down this side before we hit up the island. So your cabinets go pretty high up. I love that they have like the glass cabinetry up top is like with the accent lights that really display whatever pieces that you're wanting to show off. You have your gas range top right here and then your stainless range hood. I don't want to open up too much stuff just because I don't know what they, what they store in here. But then coming on to the opposite side, you do have a place for some of your appliances like your coffee pot and stuff. And then again, with those beautiful display cabinets up top, you have your microwave and your oven built in. And then you have this beautiful stainless refrigerator with the double doors up top and then the freezer on the bottom. Really pretty. All right, let's go ahead and I wanna go on the back porch real quick. 
All right, I don't know what happened. I guess I got way too excited uh, and I completely skipped the island. I, you'd think I'd know. Anyway, it's a beautiful island. It's oversized, it has really nice quartz countertops. I'll point you in the direction of another Charleston home at the end of this video uh, that you can check out. It'll have a slightly different floor plan, but the island will be the same. And I actually go in depth on the island. And then we'll go hit up the smaller bedrooms. Am I capable? Yeah, I am. <laughs> All right. So this is, that I probably just locked myself out here too. <laughs> Wouldn't that suck? <laughs> oh, geez. All right, out on this back porch. Gorgeous. Could you imagine the view? Would it be mountains, ocean, rolling plains? Love it. So much room back here. And then you also have access from your master bedroom onto this porch as well. Whew. I didn't lock myself out. <laughs> I was really afraid there for a minute. I didn't know. I heard that click like something locked behind me. I thought that was the end. I was going to have to shimmy down one of the pillars. All right. Coming back here. You do have the three bedrooms. So this is the first one. Got the radio going. Beautiful, nice size room. I love the, the light right here. And then you have your double closet doors as well. As far as the carpet, you can change that up. Personally, I'd probably continue running that hardwood through here, or I don't know, I like carpet. I know it's a hit or miss with most people, but uh, I think, you know, in those personal areas, I'd like to have carpet. That way I can just kind of hang out, take my, my socks off, let my toes wiggle in the, <laughs> in the carpet, I don't know. So this is your first full bath, beautiful undermount sink, subway tile going all the way up to the ceiling. You have a linen closet right here, and then your toilet. And then you do have a shower and tub combo with the subway tile as well. And then coming into your second bedroom. So this side of the house is pretty much identical to the normal Charleston. Oh, I loved you like you got the <laughs> I get so excited. I'm tongue twisted. You got the white brick, real brick, too. That's nice. So this is the second bedroom, same light in here. And then you have your beautiful double doors going into your closet. And then coming out back into the hallway, this room, and it was, I saw it in another one and I was, I was questioning it, but the ceiling in here is a lot higher, even though the room itself is smaller. So I think with the height of the ceiling, it gives you that perception of still a really nice sized room, which it is. I think it is a great size for a kid, but you have this beautiful crystal chandelier or glass, and then your double closet doors right here. All right, and then coming back across the house, we'll hit into, oh, you know what I didn't even go into? I missed it. All right, so let me let you know where we're at. I can't believe that, I missed it. All right, so right here, Y'all were probably screaming at me in the comments too, weren't you? <laughs> so this would be your pantry. Right now, this is set up as like their office place, but you would have cabinets or shelves going across either side in here. You wouldn't have a sink, even though this would be cool, like having a nice little butler's pantry in here. I think that would be really nice. You could probably design it that way, honestly. And then coming out of here, you would enter into your mud room. And then through this door right here would be your garage. So you have this beautiful drop zone, place to hang up some stuff, sit down, kick your shoes off. You have your cleaning closet right here. And then that gives way to your laundry room. Man, it is raining now, jeez. So again, beautiful deep sink. 
and then you have a spot for your washer and dryer hookups as well. And then coming out of here, you go into, now this would just be flip-flopped in the normal Charleston, but you come into this little media room slash office space, and that opens up into your main bedroom area. So the first thing you come to is your beautiful master bathroom. You have your double vanities right here, the tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling. Your walk-in shower. This right here is your water closet. And then you do have two closets in here as well. So this is your first closet. And then across the way is your second closet. Beautiful wood shelves, nice hanging rods. And then into your big walk-in shower with the glass doors and the tile surround. Beautiful. And then into the main part of the master bedroom. Almost like a shiplap slatted ceiling with that exposed wood beam. Big old bed and windows. Love it. Oh, and then you do have access out onto your porch right here. So let me know what you guys think about this version of the Charleston, the Charleston 2. If you want more information on this model or Schumacher Homes, I'll leave the link for them down in the description below. If you want to check out one of the other Charlestons, go ahead and click this video right here. It's probably one of my favorites. As always, my name is Timothy, and I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.